check it. Starting with the puck in the musky zone. 
This is Patera, number 23, who shot the flutter into the corner. Saints track it down. Trying to get a four checking presence early here. Double back in deep behind the net. And chasing the back after it. The must be that clearing attempt deflected high into the net. Good to see as you see those off from outside the zone. And now it's going to off the same stick. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to have a goal. It's like it's going to be a little bit of this. So Isabella Leonard for the Saints in the draw. Taking against Marley Lewis. Marley and her sister Nancy. And one of our two sister combos on the Muskies this year. The other uh, sister pairing being the uh, veteran Piper Cross and her little sister Blair Cross. A great rookie season with the black and gold. Puck deep in the fourth zone. Moving it out along the boards. To the right side, it's Portland the court. She's stopped up there by Raymond. Puck sent back in by Samantha Neal. Now, here come the Muskies to set. Puck knocked away. And hustling in, Molly Hendy. She's taken off the great play by the field. And Lucas Hendy are hustling back. All the coming off the bench on the line to even just in time to take away a break from the opportunity. I thought you'd got a little heavier bump than maybe she needed. <laughs> Well, they say that uh, there's no uh, hitting in girls' hockey, but uh, there is physical contact. Let's put it that way. And on that one, there's good contact for Lucas Engel. Puck sent down. You know, it's going to be an icing call. Looks like against the Muskies with a minute 30 down here in the opening frame. Again, these two teams. Icing calls for you. Well, and, all right, who's here now? For the Muskies. She sends it up the ice. That pass misses. It's going to come right uh, just past the net, actually. Thought we were going to have it on goal, but it went, went through the paint, but not on goal. So, ice, icing goal. See as the game goes on uh, how the stamina factor comes into play. The Saints with just 13 skaters dressed tonight, along with goaltender Jordan Moe, and the Muskies with 16 skaters uh, ready to go. So we'll see if that comes into play as the game carries on. Here comes the Muskies now. Piper Cross up to Hayden Allen. That pass just gets away from her. She hustles after it though against Jalen Durard. Tried to center. Chance in front. Carson McQuaker, that shot was blocked. Saints come away with it. And that pass misses the target down the ice. No icing called against the Saints, though. Here come the Muskies now. This is the captain this year. Jersey Calder, number 10 on defense for the black and gold. That pass just gets away from Marley Bliss, and now we'll have icing the other way. So small was, confusion on the icing standards so far here early in the I, I season. Thought, I thought uh, Bliss got a piece of that. What do you think of the gold stripe on the helmets this year? That's new. It is. It is new. Got a little bit of a, a flair uh, addition, I guess, and stuff. A little change up. Nothing wrong with that. New season, new look. The puck is directed on net, covered up by Maddie Bliss, and she holds on for another face-off. That icing call brought to you by Ed Conn and Son. You got to get that in there, Joe. Absolutely. Boy, if we're doing that for every icing call, you're going to get to, the Conn family are going to love you by the end of the season. Uh, my my, my over-under on the uh, number of times you mentioned them will be about 512, I think. Battle. Let those businesses get their money. That's it. Them. That's it. Battle on the right side boards. Muskies come away with it in the Saint zone. Courtney McCoy trying to keep it in. She does not, though, as it, Greer knocks it out. McCoy pushes it back in across the line. Now the Saints trying to come away with it. But Kira Farrington for the Muskies tracks it down. She backhands it into the far corner. Centering pass from Cross. That missed. And here comes St. Thomas Aquinas. This is Greer up the center. Nice defensive play. There we go. Rayel Redford did make it back from Sulek out in time. So another Muskie veteran has made it here for Fort Francis for tonight's opener. And that'll certainly help Redford, a good edge to her game, just like her older sister Riley during the championship season of the Muskies in the past. Rail's got good speed and uh, again, a good veteran presence. And uh, again, a six hour road trip. We'll see how her legs are uh, coming off of the, the, a long highway road trip. And playing a basketball game. And playing a basketball game as well earlier today. But uh, she's a gamer, uh, that whole Redford clan, they, uh, they won't back down. 
Here come the Muskies now. In their own zone. It goes out the stick of Tegan Mosbeck. Bouncing in the Saints zone. Samantha Neal back for it for the Saints. However, intercepted by Mosbeck. She then has it knocked away. Saints come away with it. Move it to center. And it's Reese Rohde, number 15 for the Saints. She dumps it in and goes off for a change. Again, quick changes will be the order of the day for the Saints. They don't want to have skaters out there for too long, considering they only got 13 to rotate through for the entire contest. Puck off the side of the net. That came off the stick of Calder. Sorry, uh, uh, Piper Cross. Saints get it off the boards. Play in the neutral zone. Now Saints have it at their own line. Cross ice pass. Molly Hindy gets it. Pushes it into the musky zone and back for it is Piper Cross. Cross sends it around the boards. That's going to be kept in at the right point by the Saints. This is Gerard gets it. Tries two shots on goal, both blocked. Good job by the Muskies getting in the way of those. Puck sent out to the neutral zone and it is Delaney Turner picking it up. Turner, she dumps it in. She goes off for a change and it's Calder back for it. Calder trying to get it out. That was intercepted. Calder will try again in from behind her own net. She'll push it ahead to Marley Bliss. Left behind now for Carson McQuaker. Puck sent back into the Muskie zone. Good job by the Saints standing up at center ice. Not letting the Muskie girls get much of a rush going at this point. Calder spins away from her forechecker. Sends it over to the left wing side. However, pinched in by Riley Kipling to keep that puck in. Now the Saints have it in behind that. Center, loose puck in front. Muskie's clear to safety, goes to the left wing boards. Picked up on the far side by Addie Greer of the Saints. She puts it in behind the net. Sophie Muse will grab it there. Muse centers. Trying to hit Patera coming in from the point. That went off her stick to the corner. Patera sends it behind the net. Muskie's gain control. Send it out the center. And now it's McQuaker trying to get control. She spins away. Sends it toward the Saints zone. St. Thomas Aquinas controlling the puck possession department so far in this contest. We are just over six minutes gone here in the first period. No score at this point. Redford now in the Saints zone. She'll be trying to chase down Delaney Turner. Turner sends it around the boards. Saints try and dump it out. Kept in at the left point momentarily. But away come the Saints. Off the boards, down the ice. Looks like this is going to be an icing call. It will be with 6.35 gone in the first face off. Back in the Saints zone, no score. Farrington taking the draw against Maddie Hughes. Saints game possession on the left wing side. It's Molly Hendy. She's pushing the fort zone. But Muskies get it and send it back into St. Thomas in. Now Delaney Turner has it for the Saints. Turner off the board, sends it ahead to Riley Kipling. That's deflected high. Now maybe a two on one possibility for the Saints. However, Hughes could not track it down time. She'll grab it behind the net though. Wheel back out to the left circle. Watch there by Courtney McCoy. McCoy does a good job to take the puck off her and end that threat. Puck to the right side. Farrington now. Looking to work against her checker. Now getting it is Marley Bliss. Bliss, she wrists it deep into the zone. She'll head off for a change. Hustling in on the forecheck, Hayden Allen for the Muskies. Can't quite pick it up. And coming away with it for the Saints was number 17, Zavea White. Now, back in the musky zone, this is Lucas Enberg. Pass ahead. Picked up on the right side. Piper Cross trying to grab it, but instead it is Greer for the Saints. She sends it deep in the zone and chases in after it. In behind the net, Greer looking for Rody out of the side of the net. The Muskies grab the puck. Lucas Enberg off the boards. Sends that one down the ice, and it is going to be an icing call with 8.03 gone in the first. Brought to you by Ed Kahn and Sons, this icing call, and I do want to mention Green's Brand Source Home Furnishings. Got to be happy that their streak is open again. I get to notice these things when I come over. You guys probably don't notice them because you're here all the time, but you know, the building being knocked down every time I drive across, there's another piece of the building that is gone, the uh, mill, and uh, of course, I noticed that the 
street was open as well. For me, so. I think that was the first day then, because I looked two days ago and oh, it was still it barricaded oh, off. So. Okay. Look at you. See, we, we, we make things convenient for our uh, cross-border visitors. So. Not a problem. Glad, glad to be in service. Here come the black and gold, rushing out of their own zone. Coming with the puck. Pass ahead. Looks like we're going to have offside. Yes, we will. As that pass from Redford missed the target on the right wing. Tegan Mosbeck was in ahead of the play. I like the idea coming across that everybody was kind of sucked over to the far, far wall and uh, coming back to the near wall looking to get maybe a, an open look but, uh, just uh, at the blue line. Like the, the preseason uh, legs are still there a little bit for the Muskies trying to, to get things underway and the passing a little bit not quite as sharp as they would like here to start the regular season but it is early a lot of game to go a lot of season to go black and gold again coming into the season as the defending Norwasa girls hockey champions and uh, hopefully Hopefully, crossing fingers, if uh, they are able to return to prominence uh, again this year and hold on to that title, hopefully we will be able to have an OFSA All-Ontario Provincial Championship this year, unlike last year, which was wiped out by the uh, still ever-present COVID factor. But uh, there, would a, okay. there would be a good possibility that we might actually get to have that tournament this year, which would be nice for, the, for whichever team makes it through. Because certainly, especially for the grade 12 veterans on the teams, you want to give them that chance to go to that, a major tournament like OFSA and have that last kick at the can before they uh, head off into the sunset with their high school career. Here's the Muskies now. Trying to get it out of their zone, get things going. Back for it is Blair Cross, the rookie defenseman. Saints will keep it in at the right point. Cleared deep in by Kipling. Muskies grab it, send it around the boards. Not too many high quality scoring chances as of yet as we near the midway point of the first period. A lot of the play has been in the neutral zone or in the musky end, just back and forth passing of the puck between the two teams. Yeah, you haven't said Jordan Moen's name yet, I don't think. I, uh, Jordan Moen has had a pretty uh, chill uh, time in, the, in between the pipes so far for the Saints. And again, uh, with uh, Tatiana Sandy Kasperk, their veteran starter, not here tonight, uh, not, not in the lineup. Uh, you thought it might have shone uh, in the Muskies' favor to be going up against the backup, but you've got to test that backup first of all, and they have not put much in the way of a test against Moen at this point. Let's see if they get one here now. Here comes Redford in across the line. She has the puck brushed away off of her stick, and hustling after it is Reese Rohde. Rohde down the left wing side now. Tucks it deep into the corner. She's going to chase in after it. Muskies will get to it first. Our Patero keeping it at the left board. She's entered it. Nobody there for the Saints. Muskies get it, put it off the boards, and out to center. Saints will track it down. Oh, a steal now. Here's Redford walking in on Bowen. Oh, nice play by Jalen Durard getting back on the back check. Lifted her stick at the last second to take away a golden scoring opportunity from Redford. Here's Greer now. Moves it ahead to Raynard. Muskies though steal. Coming back the other way, Tange. She'll leave it behind for Gerster. Gerster moves it up ahead to Ella Evans. As her shot, uh, trying to clear it into the corner, that hit the stick of, I believe, Kipling and deflected high over the glass. And we'll have a faceoff, 8.46 to go here in the first period. No score. We were jimmer jamming too much, obviously. You and me long winded. That <laughs> stunning development, yes. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. the, the fans listening right now just can't believe they're here. Or maybe they can. Here's Jersey Calder back in the musky zone. She'll spin away from the check. She'll send it off the left side boards. Farmington gets it. Tries to get it to Bliss. That pass just missed. Deflects into the Saint zone. Turner back for it. Bliss trying to catch up to her there. Farmington's now on the left boards. Now Calder will keep it at the left point. She tries to send it in on goal. That hits Turner and goes wide of the net, and Turner will track it down. Puck comes around the board. Saints trying to clear the zone. And they will do so. As Maddie Hughes doing the honors. Musties get it, send it back into the same zone. Turner's got it. She'll move it ahead. That pass though deflects off a stick. Muskies grab it. Try and get a rush going the other way. Farrington. Puck slips off her stick. A lot of uh, short possession times for the, the players here. Not really good puck control at this point uh, here early in the contest. 
Yeah, you mentioned that the ball trying to pass and get it across ice and do those things that those passes just aren't as crisp as we're going to see probably after Christmas. Exactly. Bit, bit of a hand grenade mentality, I think, on some of the players' parts. Yeah. Like, got to get it off my stick quickly. Here come the Saints now. Smacking it into the zone is Hindy. She'll go off for a change. And the Muskies will try to rush up ice again. Pass ahead. Trying to find Carson McQuaker on the left wing. Missed the target though, and that pass, the clearing pass into the zone. Deflects off a musky stick, goes over the boards. And face off with 7 10 remaining here in the first period. Taking the draw, Hindy. Saints, Sophie Mews, number 19, against Redford. Muskies win it. Push it ahead, and it's Tegan Mosbeck. Trying to get it in the Saints zone. Puck cleared out. Redford gets it at center. Got to be careful. She's got two Saints watching her. Goes far side to Blair Cross. Cross sends it in the Saints zone, and it's pushed right back out. Ella Evans trying to forecheck for the Muskies. Puck cleared out to center. Sent back into the Muskie zone, and now Mosbeck trying to chase it down in the St. Thomas end. Let's look on the Saints. Muse sends it out the neutral zone. Samantha Neal for the Saints. Clears it in. Changed by the Saints. Muskies now with it in their own zone. Pushed ahead. Just outside the blue line. Turner slaps it back in and then goes off for a change. Muskies get it. Put it off the boards. With the move it up ice. Really no icing as the puck cleared in deep. Kipling back for the Saints. Watched by Farrington. Farrington giving Kipling a tough time. Saints, or Muskies keep it in rather. Bliss in front of the net, waiting to see if Farrington can get into the pass. Farrington goes back to the left point. Now comes to Lucas Engberg. She walks in. Rister save. Roos puck at the side of the net. Just cleared to safety in time by Samantha Neal. Best chance of the night for the Muskies right there. Nice low shot by Lucas Engberg. And Moa not able to corral the rebound. It was sitting loose by the empty side of the net for a second, but no Muskie could get their stick on it. Here come the Saints now. Reese Rohde down the right side. She'll dump it in and then head back for a change. Quick changes here by the Saints. Again, only 13 skaters tonight. So they're gonna have to keep their shifts short. Greer now kicks it back in. Lucas Engberg around the boards, finds Evans. Sorry, we've got Courtney McCoy, number 20 for the Muskies. McCoy stopped up along the boards, and now here's Sophie Hughes. Hughes taking off her feet. We're going to get our first penalty of the night. And it looks like Isabel Tangay taking Hughes off her feet. Let's see if it's a hooking or tripping call, but it will be a tripping call going to Isabel Tangate of another team, the Muskies. 4.57 to go here in the first period. The Saints are going to go to the power play for the first time this evening. It's Muse, Greer, and Hughes up front for the Saints on this power play. Petura and Turner on the back end. Here's Hughes now. Backhander in front. Loose. Redford grabs it though. Trying to clear it out. Turner will keep it in. Puts it in the right corner. Muskies grab it and send it down the ice. Jersey Calder, the captain, getting the job done on the penalty kill for the Muskies. 30 seconds gone here in the power play for the Saints. Patera has got it. Ooh, taking off her feet. Was looking for another call there. None coming. Muskies get away with the one there. Fort Francis sends it ahead. Redford into the zone. And it'll be Patera now. Moves it to Hughes. Hughes coming to center. Head of steam in on the right side. Drop pass for Turner. Turner, she looks to put the shot on goal. She does turn the side by Matty Bliss. Cut back to the right point. Piper Cross can't get it out. Hughes, backhand pass, left side for Greer. Now Hughes gets it shot high over the net. Turner will pick it up on the right side boards. Bring it in deep. Muse with it behind the nets. Can't contain, retain possession. Calder brings it slowly and then smacks it down the ice. 35 seconds to go in the Saints power play. 3.30 left in the opening frame. No score yet here at the Ice for Kids Arena in the regular season opener. 
for the Fort Francis Muskies and the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints. Remember these two teams played one nothing in an entire game here just a couple weeks ago in the championship uh, tournament game in Winnipeg. So this being 0-0 shouldn't be a surprise. I was going to say low scoring seems to be the theme between these two teams. Very cautious and very uh, defensively sound so far. Raynard walks in. Pad save by Bliss. Moose puck the rebound. That's backhanded just wide. Great chance for the Saints there in the dying stages of the power play. But Tange out of the box. And now, racing up the left side is Farrington. Farrington bothered there by Jordan Sundin. Farrington will go off for a change. So Saints 0 for 1 on the power play. Now here's a chance, racing down. This is Sundin, left wing side, fires, pad save, Matty Bliss. Farrington will pick up the rebound on the left side. Get it just out across the line. Saints have had the better high quality chances so far here in the opening frame, but Matty Bliss has been up to the task so far. 2.20 remaining in the first, no score. Muskies and Saints. Muskies now looking to get it out of their zone. Saints though, back at it in deep. Turner doing the job. Muskies now. Kristen can't get it out. Now it will be knocked out by Lucas Engberg, but all the way down the ice, and that'll be an icing call with 2.01 left here in the first. Matty Bliss, certainly the uh, more busy of the two goaltenders so far, and a couple of big saves on that last shift, for sure. Yeah, what I've liked out of the Muskies so far, though, you can see they're working. They know what they're supposed to be doing with the puck. They're working at it, and that's what you want to see early in the season, that they're trying to do things the right way. I could use the word systems in there, but that would drive Mike crazy. <laughs> Yeah, but the boss isn't here tonight, so, but you got... He might be listening. He's uh, watching the wild at the same time. Well, exactly. He's not listening to us. He's, he's watching the, the, the big leaders. Saints now. Move it out to center on the right side. Clear it in, but Calder's got it for the Muskies. Saints go for a full change, so that'll give Calder time to wind it up and bring it out of the zone. Calder skates by one checker. Right into the Saints zone, looking to go end to end. She hasn't taken off her stick though. Nice defensive play there by the Saints. Riley Kipling. Saints get it, put it deep into the zone. Back for it. Now this is Lucas Engberg. She'll send it ahead. That pass misses though, down the ice. And it'll be another icing, 1.03 to play here in the first. Uh, sons, and, uh, he may not be watching the Wild anymore because they're already down 2 nothing. Uh-oh. So uh, that will make him uh, unhappy. And of course, the uh, Wild was receiving the Hamas on the Gilly. Coach Epperson's words of quote-unquote inspiration may not have been so inspiring yeah. after the, the loss to San Jose on Sunday. Here's the Muskies now. They're going to move it out, though. Saints forechecking. Goes back to the right point. This is Kipling with it. She tries to keep it in. Muskies get it, though. Push it out to center. And now hustling after it is Redford. Redford. She'll pick up the puck in the left corner. Looking in front for Evans. Evans alone in front. Redford can't make a play on it, but Evans will chase it down in the left side. Coming away with it, though, is Hughes. Hughes. She send it to Addy Greer. Greer. To center, sends it in, right on goal. Bliss turns it aside. Lucas Engberg gets it, puts it off the boards. Patera sends it in deep for the Saints. 17 seconds left in the period. This is Rody. Rody makes a nice move in the corner, centers. Nobody home though for the Saints. Muskie's trying to just get out of this period in 0-0 fashion. Five seconds left, Saints putting on good pressure here in the late stages. But looks like that will do it. As puck tied up in the corner. And in fact, the black and gold will go to the dressing room, all even with the visiting St. Thomas Aquinas Saints. No score after 20 minutes. We're going to take a break here. We're going to take a break here. Got to remember to get my my guys in too. There.
trying to make sure because well, we're, we're on, you know, we're on your home TV. What is it called? Home TV. Home TV. Home TV. So I want to make sure I get the, that out there that we're also on there so you can listen to our ch chitter chatter there as well and see video. If you, if you so choose, I know that's the, you know, like, hey, our third we have listeners here, but some people don't have the uh, internet strength to watch online, so at least you can listen uh, on the radio or to rjbroadcasting.com. This, it's, a, it's a new media world. I mean, you think 10, 15 years ago, would you have ever seen football games, NFL games, on another network promoted by one network? And yet, now you see that as a regular thing, which to me still blows my mind when you think of how protective they were of their own money and uh, and everything like that before. But now you're seeing CBS games brought or promoted by Fox and vice versa. And it's a, it's a wide open world to here in 2022. People want to see, people want to know, and uh, we're here to help out. So. Yeah, exactly. Let's get to the second period of hockey action here at the Ice for Kids Arena in the Norwasa regular season opener for the Fort Francis Muskies and the visiting St. Thomas Aquinas Saints. No score after 20 minutes here on KGHS as well as home TV. Thank you so much for tuning in this evening. Puck starting in the Saints zone here early in the middle frame. Trying to work their way out. They get it to center, but the Muskies will pick it up there. This is Avery Sinclair, one of the new Muskies, number three on defense. She's moving it ahead to Kira Farrington. Farrington has to go off her stick though. Cross ice pass for the Saints, and they work it into the zone. Hustling after it, Addie Greer. She's stopped, held up there by Sinclair momentarily, but Greer's got it. Works her way around Farrington. Spins around, backhands it to the corner. Trying to find Maddie Hughes over there. Battle along the end boards. Saints come away with it. Good job on defense though, as that's Blair uh, Piper Cross. She bodied her opponent and then comes away with the puck and rushes out the center. Cross, cross ice pass. Here's Allen trying to work into the zone. Trying to center and loose puck in front. It was sitting there on the doorstep. Cross though could not quite get a stick on it. Saints now. Hughes over the line. Knocked out by Lucas Engberg to center. Cleared back in by Samantha Neal. Saints go for a full change. Lucas Engberg takes the opportunity to pick up the puck behind Rodette, move it to Hayden Allen. Allen, her first pass is blocked, she gets it back. Sent back into the zone. Now tipped into the St. Thomas Aquinas end. 2-10 gone here in the second period. No score. Muskies and Saints. St. Thomas Aquinas moving it ahead, down into the zone. Molly Hendy, but had a little bit too much juice on it. And on from her side of center ice, that'll bring about an ice of goal with 2.24 gone here in the second. No score. Looks like they had a bit more jump here to start the second period. A couple of good chances in front. Piper Cross almost with a, a doorstep opportunity, but uh, couldn't quite put it in. But here's a chance now. Redford shot. That's blocked. Rayel Redford jumping on the loose puck. Back to Gerstner at the point. That shot was blocked by Reynard and fired all the way down the ice. And we will have an ice and goal with 243 gone. Ice must be slanted to our left, Joey, because <laughs> in the first period it was all down on this end with the St. Thomas uh, having the advantage, but uh, here's been Fort Francis early in the second period. The Muskies have definitely picked up their level of play, no question, here in the second period, looking for that game's opening goal. And again, with the defensive posture these two teams are putting up there, that first goal is looks like it may be a mammoth goal for either side, as it looks like goals will be at a premium here this evening. Here's Marley Bliss with it behind the nets. Bliss. She tries to put it on goal. That blocked by Neil. Loose puck in front, digging after it. Oh, almost putting it home. Courtney McCoy she tried to shove it through the pile of bodies, but it just went wide of the net. Muskies, though, continuing to maintain the pressure. Farrington knocks it down, clears it right back in. 
Muskies change quick. Hustle back out there. Neal now. She's got the puck. She's got Mosbeck, though, bearing down on her. Tried to center it. Loose in front. Saints clear it out. Down the ice. This is going to have enough for icing. It will. And with 3.46 gone here in the second, uh, a reinvigorated Muskie team here in the second period. They have had the lion's share of opportunities and uh, looking to break the door down for the contest's opening goal. Yeah, I'd like to think that there's something that really happened, but it just, uh, it just seems to be the way that it is. Again, that makes it called back to buy Ed Conn's. Here's Patera for the Saints. Sends it out of his own. Oh, lost a linesman there, down and out, but he's getting back up. Looks to be none the worse for wear. Pride hurt maybe at the most. Maybe a left cheek hurt. Yeah, I was going to say tailbone might be feeling a little bit there. All right, here's a chance now. Two on one opportunity. Redford coming in across the line. The shot high on the blocker side. Stopped there by Jordan Moen. She had Mosbeck coming in on the far side. Couldn't get the back side to go for the shot instead of the pass. And Moen up to the task. Muskies send it into the zone. It's delayed offside. Muskies have to clear out after they made a line change in the middle of that. Now the Saints come away with it. Send it deep into the fort end. And it'll be stopped there by Maddie Bliss. And Hayden Allen trying to come away with it for the Muskies. Sends it out to center. Saints turn it back around. This is Molly Hendy. Trying to get it in. Now back headed in deep by Patera. She'll go off for a change, and five minutes are gone here in the second period. No score. Muskies and Saints at the Ice for Kids Arena. Here on KGHS and Home TV. Muskies now looking to move the puck out of the zone. Cross gets it, backhands it down, but it's going to go a little too far. And it will be another icing call with 5.20 gone here in the second period. No score. Saints win the draw, get possession, clear it deep into the zone. Calder's got it. Having a little problem in the left side corner. She gets it back. That doesn't rattle her, Joey. Well, she, she just takes care of business. She's, a, she's a, a poised veteran and very strong in her skates as well. So Saints, though, with possession. Sophie Muse. Calder just takes it right off of her. Great defensive play there by the Muskie captain. And Muskie's getting out to center. And, oh, Kierna Farrington almost trying to break in two on one. Might even been three on one had they gotten loose, but just tied up at center. Here's McCoy now. Pushes it ahead. Saints will pick it up at their own blue line and race back with it. That pass misses the target. Goes off the stick of Jordan Sundin. But Saints will get it. Sundin's got it actually back to the right point. Delaney Turner. She'll send it in deep. Sundin trying to track it down there. She's got Calder on her. Marley Bliss tips it past a four checker. Gets it ahead to Piper Cross. Saints though won't get, let it leave the zone. Now the Saints picking up the intensity here on the four check. Muskies will try again. Farrington off the boards, out to center to Redford. Redford met there by Turner. She can't go any farther. And the Saints smack it back down into the zone. Sundin doing that. And then they'll head off for a change. Gerstner back now for the black and gold. Go far side. Ooh, a dangerous pass. That gets picked off by Kipling. She dumps it in deep in the zone. In the zone. Now Greer on the left wing boards. Greer trying to work out to the middle of the ice. The backhander. That's blocked. Nice play by Calder. Now, Muskies trying to get some momentum going the other way. Saints, though, pick it up at their own line, send it back to center. Blair Cross gets it, fires it down the ice. No icing on the play. Didn't look like it hit Saints' stick. Well, he said it did. The lineman said it did. So All right, that's then. Why there was no we'll trust the men in stripes. Here we go. In behind the net. This is Ella Evans with it going up against Kipling. Kipling bashes around the board. Hughes has got it on the far side. Blair Cross still keeps it in for a second. Saints trying to get it out of the zone. They will. Now Muskie's caught up ice. 
two on three, three on two here. Chance, Sophie Muse, shot, big save, Matty Bliss. Rebound, loose puck, side of the net. Where is it? It's right on the goal line. Is where it's and out of the net. what a stop, Matty Bliss. Somehow got turned around like a pretzel and a half on that one and still was able to find the puck before it crossed the line. I think the Saints hit it off her backside and it fell right on top of the goal line. She reached back and she was able to save it. That's how close it was. Best chance of the night right there for the Saints. It looked like a harmless rush at first. Muse taking a long shot, but uh, as, as it turned out, a little bit of chaos in front of the net and almost paid off for St. Thomas Aquinas. But we are still scoreless. Eight minutes gone here in the second period. Muskies now battling for possession in their own end. This is McQuaker trying to get the puck. She can't, though. Hughes has it in the deep in the corner for the Saints. Now Greer's got it. Right circle. Loses off her stick. Knocked out by McQuaker. Now race for the puck. McQuaker against Gerard. Gerard. She wins that battle. But McQuaker not letting up on the forecheck. Causing her all kinds of trouble. And she's got help now in the form of Marissa Kenny. Saints now. Move it up. Hughes to Muse. Muse hustling in. Great job getting back. And no call on the play. So credit to Ophelia Lucas Engberg. She got in the path of Sophie Muse. Held her up, and uh, but not in a in a way that the uh, referees decided an infraction needed to be called. So a strong defensive effort there by Ophelia Lucas Engberg. Am I a homer to say that I thought St. Thomas should have got called? I thought she got yanked on. I thought Ophelia got pulled on myself. I don't know. I, I, I think in uh, football terminology, that's a good no call right there. We'll just uh, let them play. Let them play. Here's All right, the, <laughs> here come the fort now, trying to get it going. But that's knocked away, back into the zone, hustling back Lucas Engberg. She's got Rody watching her, sends it around the board, stopped on the far side by Hendy. She tries to backhand it in, but knocked out over the line. And racing after it now is Kira Farrington. Farrington, she's got possession. Oh, almost broke in at the last second. Samantha Neal able to get a stick on it and take it off her. Farrington would have walked in all by herself. Here's Patera. In behind the net. Intercepted by Tange. Oh, just went off her stick. Muskie's trying to keep possession of the zone. They do. Neal's got it now. She'll move it ahead. Trying to hit Zavea White with that pass. That missed. Muskies get it. Send it back into the same zone. Alleman on the four check. Patura. She clears it just over the line. And now the Saints will pick it up. And here's Reese Rohde. Rohde dumps it in deep. Saints change, Muskie's back for it. Cross, Piper cross, trying to split the defense. She does, gets to the end board, centers. Nobody there. And Jordan Sundin gets it, goes off the boards and all the way down the ice and we will get an icing call with 9.38 left here in the second. We are still scoreless. That icing call brought to you by Ed Conn and Sutherland. Of course, the nothing nothing score is brought to you by Green Grand Source Home Furnish. Taking the draw for the Muskies is Rayelle Redford. She'll go up against Isabella Reynard for the Saints. Redford wins it. Goes back to the right point. Herster slams it around the boards. Hustling after it, Marley Bliss in behind the net for the Muskies. Turner takes it off her. Moves it ahead to Maddie Hughes. Hughes working against Calder. And Calder does a nice work at center ice. A strong game defensively so far tonight for Jersey Calder. The captain has really stood out for the black and gold here this evening. Muskies now trying to get the puck moving. Gersten around the boards. Send it to Marley Bliss. Bliss. She's checked there by Muse. Pass across. Rodia just go off her stick. She was streaking in on the left side. Muskies get it now. Trying to move it out. They can't. Here's a chance. Save there by Bliss. Shot on the far side by Eddie Greer. Centered now. And Redford intercepts that. Off the boards. And out. Muskie send it down into the zone. Racing after it there is Marissa Kenny. You can't quite catch it. Now it's loose. Kenny gets it. Oh, just brushes it wide. The puck took a weird hop off coming off the left boards. And all of a sudden, Kenny found it on her stick in the slot but couldn't get a full shot off. 
And the Saints escape that one. Muse now dumps it in. Bliss directs it into the right corner. Muskie's back for it. They get it out across the line. Gerard cannot keep it in. But we will get an icing call against Fort Francis with 8.06 left here in the second period. Brought to you by Ed Cotton and Sons. At some point in the game, we're going to get the play of the game. It's going to be brought to you by Norman Oil. They're a proud sponsor of Muskie Sports this season. They're located at 6115 Highway 1171 on the west side. Well, the goaltenders and the defense have been giving us enough plays of the game so far, but uh, nothing yet on the offensive side of things. No score. Eight minutes left here in the second period in the Norwasa regular season opener for high school girls hockey. The defending champion, Fort Francis Muskies, and last year's runner-up, the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints from Kenora. Locked in a defensive struggle so far here this evening. Who is going to break through first? Puck in the neutral zone. Saints get possession. Patura fires it ahead. This is Hendy in, on the left wing. She fires. Stick save there by Bliss. Hendy gets on the rebound. Reynard tried to center to Patura. Now here's Hughes with a shot. That goes just wide. Muskie's a little scrambly in their own zone right now. Trying to regroup. They try and send it out along the boards. Patura, though, good play to keep it in on the right side. Patura cuts to the middle, trying to get a shot off. And no call coming. Could have possibly been a penalty call against Blair Cross for holding the stick, but the referees let it go. Saints still in the zone, though. Hughes trying to make something happen. Now Neal's got it on the left side boards. Sweeps it in deep in the musky zone. St. Thomas Aquinas. Maintaining the pressure here on this shift. 6.40 to go in the second. Centering pass. Neal shot. That's deflected and goes wide. Muskies get it. Bash it off the boards down the ice. It's not going to have enough for icing. Muskies will make a quick change and the Saints will go back for it. Riley Kipling picking up the puck. She'll start things up the other way. Long pass ahead. Trying to connect there with Hughes. That didn't quite work. Muskies get it at center. Sweep it into the zone, and here comes Hayden Allum. Allum shot. That's blocked and goes wide. Kipling getting in the way of that opportunity. Neal now in low, battling with McCoy. Could have had a cross checking call perhaps against the Saints on that one as McCoy was set to the ice, but no call. Here come the Saints now. Two on two. Hughes can't get past her checker. Long shot. Almost deflected as it was Hughes getting a stick on the point shot. Here's a pass in front. Oh, Patera whiffs on it right in the slot, wide open. And it just went off the heel of her stick. And the Muskies clear it to safety in the center. Great chance there for Heidi Patera. Five and a half minutes to go here in the second period. No score at the hockey game at the Ice for Kids Arena in Fort Francis. Calder now back into her own zone. Watch there by Molly Hendy. Calder off the boards. That turns over. Rody picked it off. She goes into the left corner, looking to center. She's got Hendy alone in front. If she can get it to her, glove on the ice. Not sure who it belongs to, but it'll be sent around. Slapped in by Turner, trying to keep it in. Saints outnumbering the Muskies right now in the puck battles, as it seems to be two Saints to every Muskie anytime they're around a puck. But Saints change, and here comes Isabel Tangay. Tangay puts it into the zone. That's stopped there by Turner. And now moves it ahead. Coming up the right side is Jordan Sundin. Sundin, Calder can't stop her. Long shot there by Sundin. Saved by Bliss. Gerster now working against Sundin. She comes away with it. Gets it out of the musky zone to center. Kipling. Fired all the way right back in. We're going to have delayed offside against the Saints, though, as they were caught on a change. Gerard now. That's a turnover. Almost Mosbeck almost getting a chance to walk in. Gerser stops the play at center. And now coming across with it is Carson McQuaker. McQuaker dumps it in deep in the zone. Gerard gets it, though, and the Saints... Work their way back. That pass so intercepted. Farrington, nice job of keeping it at the line. She walks in. Farrington, and she's blocked off by two Saints. Couldn't get a shot off. Cross now. 
Puts it in deep. Saints pick it up in behind their own net. Kipling backhands it around. That's a turnover. Mosbeck will get it. Look to center it. Can't quite do it. But Ferenzin gets on the right wing boards. Puts it high over the glass. And it'll have a stoppage in play. 3.29 to go here in the second. No score. You know, if we were playing this game in Kenora, I would say that the first period that the Muskies had bus legs. But we're here at Ice, at ice for Kids. And it was almost, it's, it's a different period right now for the Muskies. They are playing much better hockey. Uh, almost, uh, like I said, it seemed like they were a little sleep at the wheel uh, in that first period. But they definitely picked it up here in period number two. Saints probably have carried the play here in the last four to five minutes as well. Puck has spent more time in the Muskie end than, than the Saints end, to be sure. Here are the Saints now trying to move it in at center. Rody though, stopped and sent in by Alum. Long shot. Bit of a tricky one as the ice is getting a little choppier here in the late stages of the second. And Jordan Moen had to be careful. She got low and got her glove on that one to freeze it and have a face off in the the St. Zone. We have a power play brought to you by Mr. Sutter, downtown Fort Francis. A lot has changed since 1960. But one thing remains the same. Mr. Sutter's commitment to their original concept of selling all the cells, making them better, and swimming them fast. Only one power play in this game so far tonight has belonged to the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints. Muskies yet to draw a penalty. They've got to get the feet moving, though. Now a two-on-one opportunity. Here's the Saints. Oh, pass across. Muse had... Uh, uh, Rody all alone on the far side, but could not get the pass across. Now puck sent back into the same zone. Big hit along the side of far boards on Alum. She went down for the Muskies as the puck went in on Moen and covered up for a faceoff with 2.47 to go. And well, look at that. Talk, spoke it into existence, maybe. Who knows? But it is Addie Greer going off. And looks like we're going to think for body contact. We'll wait for the call on that one. But our play is brought to you by Mr. Sun, Mr. Sun Caters as well. Call them at 307 So 247 left in the second period. Muskies on the power play. We're going to get the first goal of the hockey game, which would be huge at this point because, again, scoring chances have been few and far between. Saints, though, get it all the way deep into the zone. Muse gets it there, and she's got possession, trying to center it out front. Turner, long shot. That would not have counted had he gone in, as it was off, delayed offside against the Saints. So it is two minutes for checking against Addie Greer of the Saints, and now an icing call, a cardinal sin for any power play. Uh, Coach Shane Bliss, if he had uh, hair left on his head to pull out, he'd probably be yanking at it right now, but uh, but face off will come back down to the Muskie zone. And the section call brought to you by Ed Collins. So you can call them at 807 274 your questions about Benjamin Ward-Bates. Saints get possession off the draw. Take the shot, saved by Bliss. Looking to score shorthanded here to get them off the schneid here in the 2022-23 campaign. But here comes Jersey Calder now, racing the center of the puck, in across the line. Calder, she's pushed off the puck though, as Hughes got a piece of her, and now Neal gets the puck, tries to send it out along the boards. Kept in though, nicely by Redford. Nobody back for the Muskies, almost a chance to break away there for Hughes. Loose in front, slides across the crease. Muskies can't get a stick on that one, and now the Saints will clear it down the ice. 52 seconds left in the power play. 135 remaining in the second period. No score, Muskies and Saints. That pass goes astray off the stick of the Muskies, and Kipling will get it for the Saints, put it back into the fort zone. Gerstner now off the board. She can't find Farrington with a pass, but that's intercepted. Here comes Piper Cross. Cross into the right wing. The shot pad save. Oh, Moen had to be good on that one. Saints get it, fire it right back down the ice. 22 seconds left in the power play. Lucas Ingberg now starting the rush up ice. Goes up the center, misses McCoy completely though. Got McCoy turned around, could not connect on the play. So we'll have another ice goal with 11 seconds left in the penalty. 57.2 seconds left in the period, no score. That Cardinal center actually got it. Unfortunately. <laughs> Not that Ed Condon Sons is doing it, but unfortunately for that call. I know, two, two, two ice on the same power play. Uh, not what Shane Bliss was looking for, a chance to grab some momentum, but they may have very well given the momentum back to the Saints uh, as a strong penalty kill is going to carry St. Thomas Aquinas 
into the final stages of this period. One last rush here, chance, centering pass. That was uh, Lucas Engberg coming all the way in from the defensive position to try and make that play, but pass was blocked. Penalty is over. Muskie's over one on the power play. And now we have 30 seconds remaining in the second period. Goose eggs on the board. Here's Turner in across the line. This is a three on one. Turner takes the long shot. An interesting choice there. She had two people coming in with her on the, le on the left and center of the ice that she could easily pass the puck over and would be able to walk right in. But the defenseman uh, in a hurry to get that shot off and uh, Bliss handles it. Yeah, she had the screen there. I wonder if she didn't feel like maybe the goaltender Bliss was maybe screened out by her own defenseman. Hey. Muskies now win the draw. Get it out to center. Just 13 seconds left in the period. This is Blair Cross. Moves it out to the neutral zone. Muse gets it, fires all the way back in. Bouncing puck, Bliss directs it away. And that is going to do it for the second period of action. So we start this second period scoreless. We end it the same way. No one able to break through on either side offensively as of yet. And this Marasa girls regular season opener for the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints and Fort Francis Muskies will remain a scoreless draw after 40 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna take a break here. We'll come back with the TDR Boutique Intermission Report and uh, we'll have more. You can say your home TV. We are uh, bringing you uh, this game tonight on home TV and on KGH
Kind of like those guys that uh, do the uh, the Indy 500 in the in the daytime and then head head and go to the Coca-Cola 400 in the night. Uh, accomplishment for them to to do but uh, yeah good good on Rael for uh, being here for her team and you know again she's a competitive spirit and she didn't want to miss out on this if at all possible and uh, she made it here in time and uh, and has had some moments here in the in the in the game uh, you know she's put on some good fortunate pressure uh, had a couple of shot opportunities and stuff and uh, certainly be looking to try and break through and get one in the third period yeah. Welcome, welcome back to those of you watching on home TV and as well as those of you on KGHS listening in tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. And we are at a stalemate right now here in the uh, in the hockey end. Just 12 seconds in. We're going to face off here. Is it delayed offside? Face off just outside the Saints blue line. Muskies win control. Avery Sinclair tries to dump it in deep, but Saints block that one up. Sinclair will try again. That gets blocked up, and here comes Marley Bliss. Third try. But again, Saints standing up well at the line. Ruskies really can't crack their defense at the moment to get in anywhere close to that net. Third and time was not the chunk. It was not. Mm -hmm. And now, Maddie Hughes for the Saints. She's got it in the Muskie zone. A long shot there. Taken by Sophie Hughes. That missed the mark. Went wide of the net. Muskies get it out to center, and it's Delaney Turner picking it up there for St. Thomas Aquinas. She sends it back into the zone. Bliss will stop it. The Muskies will look to move it out. Courtney McCoy. She's got two Saints getting in her way on this one as Jordan Sundin and Isabella Reynard block that escape attempt. Muskies will try and come out the left side now. Saints, though, again with the checking. And now here's Reese Rohde with a chance, possibly. Rohde trying to get in. Oh, nice job there. The defensive effort put in by, I believe it was Eva Gerstner. Actually, no, make that Blair Cross, the uh, the freshman defenseman for the Muskies. She stopped Rohde cold as she tried to walk in on the right-hand side. Here's Jordan Sundin. Long shot off the post. Oh, Sundin taps iron. And the Saints almost busted out on top with an opening goal of the game here early in the third. Great wrister by Sundin. Beat Bliss, but not the iron. Hughes now trying to work it back into the zone. Muskies get it. Send it back out. I was going to say, Bliss played the angle pretty well. I guess she probably did. Yeah, it didn't go in. So. <laughs> That's when you thank your goalposts after. That's why Patrick Raw was so friendly with his. It's probably a big, big reason for four Stanley Cups. Here's the Saints now in their own zone. Moving it out. Molly Hendy down the left wing. She'll push it in the musky zone. Back for it is Ray L. Redford. Redford now. Looking to move it out of the out of her end. She does. Gets it out to center. Patero pick it up at the Saints line. She'll move it over to Reynard. Reynard stopped up there. Redford gets it, goes off the board, sends it down the ice. Is that going to make it for icing? It will with 2.35 gone here in third period. No score. Muskies gain control, and McCoy trying to work her way in, but she's caught in the zone. She's going to have to get out, so there's no offside. Leaves it now for Gerster at center. Gerster makes a nice move. Trying to get in across the line, but she was stopped up there. Here's Jersey Calder now. Trying to go cross ice. Pass intercepted by Addie Greer. Greer sends it in deep into the fort zone. Now Maddie Hughes chasing it down. Trying to get to it. Marley Bliss, though, gets it. Or goes around the boards to move it out the other side. Intercepted, though. Here's Greer with a chance. Shot on goal. Stopped by Bliss. Farrington will get it. Move it out to center. Here is Turner getting it. Turner in her own player trying to clear it in. Gets it back. Now here's Addie Greer on the left wing. Greer will just tap it in. She'll go for a change. And back for it is Jersey Calder. Calder now. Moves it to Gerser. And now Piper Cross. 
Leaves it for Gerstner. Gerstner makes a nice move at her line to get around a defender. Sends it in on the net. Oh, tricky one there for Moen. It hit a stick halfway to, uh, down to the net and uh, changed directions on here. Moen had to be very careful that it didn't slip by her. Sinclair shot, that goes wide of the net. St. Muskies now with another chance to sit around the boards. It'll be Hendy trying to pick it up for the Saints on the far side. Muskies low, good pressure, keeping it in for the moment. But it'll just get out across the line. And Ella Evans chases it down on the left side for Fort Francis. Evans can't get anywhere, Redford will try now. Redford, she gets the wheels moving. But she's stopped up there by Hendy. Mosbeck trying to keep it in the zone. Mosbeck dumps Hindi down to the ice. Muskies get it, send it ahead. That misses everyone, but could have, it may have deflected off a Saints player, so no icing on the play. Now in the right-hand corner, it's Samantha Neal. She's taken off her feet by Ella Evans. Saints will hold on to the puck in behind their net. Trying to move it up, and here comes Reese Rohde. Down the left wing, Rody trying to get her way past Ophelia Lucas Engberg, and Lucas Engberg says, I will not be having that. He will, shall not pass. As Rody was stopped cold on her rush. Here's Allen now, tips it out. Maybe a two on one at the Muskies hurry, but Cross can't quite get there. Puck pushed into the Saint zone. Now that pass misses everyone. Goes down into the musky end, and it will be another icing call with 5.20 and the clock still running. Uh, there we go. With the three extra seconds come off. We'll see if that comes into play uh, in the final stages of the third period. But now 5.24 gone here in the third. Saints win the draw. Muse has it knocked off her stick. Farrington is going to go back to the left point to Calder, but that goes all the way from her. And now maybe a breakaway chance coming in here. It's Muse, cuts to the center, shot, pad save, loose puck, rebound. And Sundin could not quite get to it. Great chance there for the Saints. Muskies though, looking to move it out. Calder out to center. That'll go off the stick of Kipling. She'll go back for it. Bliss meets her there on the right wing boards. Sundin gets it. And the Saints pop it out. Now, one man back. Here comes Sophie Muse. Muse walking in. The shot. That goes just wide. McCoy got back to bother her on the back end of that play. Kipling clears it in. And it'll be Gerstner back for it in the musky zone. Gerstner. That pass intercepted. Greer now keeps it in. Walks into the left circle. Fires. And the shot was blocked. Great job by Jersey Calder to get in the way of that one. Puck fired down the ice. And we another icing call with 6.28 gone in the third. No score. Yeah, that big last, last opportunity by the Saints. That gave credit to uh, Grishman who came off the uh, bench. She came off the broke up that possible ball. Basically, a two on over. It could have been. And uh, that ice was up. Raider now taking the draw against McCoy. Or sorry, it's Redford rather. Redford wins it. But the Saints get it. Loose puck in front. Where is it? Scramble. Muskies managed to clear it to safety and out to center. Ella Evans now racing against Neal trying to get to it. Instead, it's Hughes picking it up at center for the Saints. Clears it in. Intercepted there by Blair Cross. And Cross will get it out. Down to the Saints line. Patura grabs the puck there. Goes up to center. And here's Maddie Hughes. Watched by Blair Cross. Cross takes her down. No call forthcoming. You did the same thing. You looked at both referees. And you're expecting possibly something. Battle now in the musky zone. Ella Evans comes away with it. Evans down the left wing. She's got two Saints in her way. And the Saints will pick it up. Changes on both sides. And here's Greer trying to send it in. Again, only 13 skaters for the Saints tonight. We're going to see if that perhaps becomes a factor here later in the third period cross in fires that shot is blocked loose again and moen jumps on it turner got in the way of the original shot but somehow the puck still squirted through a little bit 
And Moen had to be careful to track it the whole way in. She did. Covers up 731 gone in the third. Sometimes that puck uh, has a mind of its own. It finds its way through. Turner now. She'll take it behind her own net for St. Thomas Aquinas. Look to move it up the sideboards. She does to Hindi. Puts it toward the musky zone. Lucas Enberg getting chased by Rody. Rody trying to come with it. Now Sundin at the side of the net. Dangerous here for the Muskies. But they clear it to the far corner. And it'll be Carson McQuaker picking it up there. He loses it. Eng Lucas Engberg and Hendy come together. Now it's cross battling Sundin. Well, pushing away from the uh, punch. We're still seeing a lot of it. Yeah, they're getting a little chippy now here. Now, here come the Muskies, three on one if they hurry. Allen, the long shot, didn't wait for her mates to catch up to the play. Decided to fire a long one, and it went wide of the net. Bit of a rushed play there by the Muskie veteran. Here is Sundin, long shot in, stick save by Bliss, directs it into the corner, and picking up there, missing it originally is Marley Bliss. Jumping on it, the saves, a chance, oh, chip just over the net, Hughes, now another chance as that was Ray, or Muse on the side of the net. Hughes and Muse looking dangerous here. Muse backhands another one just wide. Farrington, she can't get it out. Muskies will try again. Tangay, she does, but this is going to be an icing call, and the Saints now, with nine minutes exactly gone in the third period, have picked up the pace, and a couple of great scoring chances there. Good icing by the Muskies there. They do it, and that back by Ed Cobb and some. They had to remain the pressure and get that such bodies on the ice. Uh, it was like the Saints were standing with seven feet on the Here is Muse now, going up against Bliss, and the Quaker rather in the face-off circle. There's a long shot. That goes wide. Greer sweeps it into the left corner. Hughes has got it. Hughes, she's taken off her feet. Loose puck, side of the net. And now we're gonna get a penalty. Looks like it's gonna be going to Fort Francis. And an interference call coming up. And I believe it's going to go. We're waiting to see it is. Courtney McCoy, the assistant captain for the Muskies. Number 20, heading to the box with 9.20 gone in the third period. So a second power play of the night for the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints and a big opportunity to break onto the scoreboard. Turner gets it at the left point, goes far side to Patura. Patura walks into the slot, cuts to the middle, looking to get the shot off. Now spins back to the line. She's got Redford on her, Patura keeps possession, cuts into the corner, goes behind the net. Heidi Patura has the puck on a string, but Jersey Calder says enough of that, gets it off of her. Back to the right point, Turner keeps it in. Calder picks it off though, she gets it. Now looking to skate it out to center. Maybe would have been better served to clear that puck down. But the Muskies will get possession in their own zone again, and Redford gets it, and this time it's all the way down the ice. 117 left in the Saints power play. 9.55 remaining in the third period. Fort Francis zero, St. Thomas Aquinas zero. Regular season opener for Dorwasa girls hockey here tonight at the ice for Kids Arena in Fort Francis. A terrific defensive battle all the way through so far. No goals yet. Who will be the first to break through? It will be an icing call here against the Saints. And the faceoff is going to come back into the St. Thomas zone. 53 seconds to go in the penalty. 9.33 left in the period. Muskies get control off the draw. Lucas Engberg, long shot. That just missed the net. Farrington will get it on the left wing board. She'll dump it in deep. Good job of penalty killing here for the Muskies. Puck's going to come out. Uh, two of the Saints will try and get something going. Greer is stopped by Farrington, and the Muskies fire it all the way deep, down deep. Turner now, watched by Farrington. Spins away, goes far side to Patura. Patura. She'll move it to Muse. Muse, that puck knocked away, and Farrington's got it in across the line. Farrington, Patira got in her way and knocked it away. 
Hughes tries to get it, pass ahead. Muskies will grab it in their own zone. Player across. Off to the left side. Puck comes out across the line. And the penalty is over to Courtney McCoy. So the Saints 0 for 2 on the power play. Muskies survive, but here's Patera. She's looked dangerous here in the third period. Had a shot. That deflected just wide of the net. Now Muskies out to center into the St. Zone. Courtney McCoy looking to make something happen, but it's Muse picking up for the Saints. Sophie Muse coming in on the left wing side. Redford, though, great play to back check and take the puck off of her. Perfect pickpocket play there by the Muskie veteran. Pucks in all the way down the ice and another racing call with 8.06 left. They'll come down, here's up and down and report Francis in. Redford wins it. Muskies get it, trying to move it out the boards on the right wing side. They do, and now chasing after it is Mosbeck. Maybe a two on one, but the pass over to Ella Evans. Missed the target, went wide. Evans will chase it down. She's got it in the left corner. Muskies down, trying to center it. There's a stop by Jordan Moen on a long shot from the far boards. Here's Reynard now for the Saints, moving it in across the Fort Francis line. She loses it. Puck comes out, sent back in by the Saints. And picking it up there is Sinclair. Sinclair sends it off a Saint stick at center down into the St. Thomas zone. Long pass ahead. Gerstner and Sundin come together at center. And now it's Calder. Quick pass up ahead. McQuaker looks for Bliss. Bliss, the backhander. Big save by Jordan Mullen as Marley Bliss walked in. Got a, a significant backhander off. Had a lot of speed behind that one. But Mullen got low, got the pads on it, and covered up for the faceoff. 7.07 7 to go in the third. Yeah, that was a great effort there. I didn't know if she was going to get hardly anything on that, but she got a lot on that. And Gerster now, long shot. That's blocked by Turner before it got to the, get to the net. Reese Rohde now, starting in behind her own net for the Saints. Goes up the right side boards to Hughes. He, she tips it out to center. And backward is Gerstner. Gerstner's got Sundin all over. Knocked her down, but puck was cleared to the left side board. Now centered! Chance for Sundin. And she got back into the play, got a quick shot in close. Bliss got the stick on that one. Here's Gerstner now. Saints changing. Gerster looking to work her way in. She gets past two defenders, but not a third. And the Saints will pick it up and move it out to center. Addie Greer with the puck. 6.20 remaining in the third period. Fort Francis nothing. St. Thomas Aquinas nothing. Here at the Ice for Kids Arena in Fort Francis on KGHS and home TV. Now Raynard trying to make a move in close at the Musky net. Had the puck taken off of her. Here comes Cross, long pass ahead. Allum, she's got to wait for some help here. Cross gets it, bumped off the puck. Good job to get back by the Saints to nullify that opportunity. Puck loose though in the slots. Saints trying to get it, they can't move it out. This is Cross with it. Taking off her stick, Lucas Engberg pinches in from the point, sends it in behind the net. Gerard hustling after it for the Saints. She's met by Allum on the left wing boards. Saints get it, put it off the boards and out. 5.23 left. Ophelia Lucas Engberg for the Muskies on the rush, sends it in deep. Marley Bliss chasing in after it against Delaney Turner. Now coming away with it, Reynard. She gets it to Greer. Greer puts it off the boards into the Muskie zone. Lucas Engberg back for it. Rohde hustling in quick to check. That clearing pass hits the referee. Tough break there for the Muskies. We'll see if it comes back to hurt them. Marley Bliss now trying to get it out. Can't quite get it there. It comes all the way around to the other side. McCoy now can't work it past Hindi. Puck comes back, but the Muskies steal. And it's McCoy with it. She's stopped by Samantha Neal, and that's sent back in. 
Great job by the Saints standing up in the neutral zone. Muskies cannot get a rush going right now. Farrington, she has the puck taken away from her in the fort end. Rhodey's got it. Tied to center. Intercepted by Farrington. Farrington now down the left side. She got McCoy trailing the play. Farrington walking right in, shot! And just put it wide. Kira Farrington driving the net full force. Couldn't finish the play though. Great chance for the Muskies here. Here comes Redford now. Down the right wing, Redford. Muse takes it off of her smooth defensive play, but turns it over herself. Now Mosbeck with it. Mosbeck trying to get it to Sinclair. That shot. Looking to put it to the front of the net, but it was intercepted. Here comes Maddie Hughes. Hughes. Sinclair gets in her way, but Hughes sends a shot in. Bliss directs it away. Hughes has got it on the end boards. Muse is in front. All alone. Hughes to Muse, the backhander. And I think the defender just got in the way in time. Puck sneaks out over the musky line. Now, here's a chance possibly. Down the left side. Pass across. Mosbeck. Oh, she got turned around. Couldn't get a stick on it. Because that pass came from Piper Cross. Now, here's Maddie Hughes in. Moving it into the slot. Now to the right circle. Watched by Calder. Trying to center it. Muse gets it. Muse to the circle. Oh, pass across Patera. And just out of her reach from an easy tip into the cage. Less than three minutes to go here at the IFK. No score. Muskies, Saints. And the intensity has picked up here in the last few minutes. Both teams looking for the go ahead and possibly deciding goal. Muskies offside at the moment. They clear the zone. Puck hit at center. Battle along the boards. It's Sundin working against Marley Bliss, a pair of number sevens going to war at center. Now Farrington. She tries to get a rush going. Has her clearing play into the zone blocked. Jersey Calder takes over. Sends it ahead. That pass intercepted. Here comes Patura. She'll just send it into the zone and head off for a change. 2.08 left in the third period. Scoreless hockey game. Muskies move it out. Slap back in by the Saints. In behind the net. Back forward is Gerstner. Gerstner's got it. She'll go off the boards and get it out. And hustling after it is Marley Bliss. In on the right side. Marley Bliss. Oh! Taking off her feet as Reynard got back into the play. A sliding play to knock the puck away. Took Bliss's legs out as well, but no call coming. The refs are letting them play here in the final stages. We have 90 seconds left in regulation. Saints now looking to move it towards the fort end. Lucas Engberg. She has it knocked past here by Greer. Greer shot. That goes just wide of the nets. Piper Cross on the far side. Can't get it out. Tange back for it. Saints changing. Muskie's trying to take advantage. Here comes Tegan Mosbeck. Mosbeck puts it into the Saints zone. Redford stays after it. And the Saints come away with it. One minute to go in the third period. Puck sent it deep into the Muskie zone. No icing. Lucas Engberg turns it over behind her own net. Trying to center it there was Rohde, but that was intercepted by Redford. Now tied up along the boards in the Muskie end, Redford. Muscles her way past. Now he's gonna try for a two on one. Her and Mosbeck walking in. Redford, long shot high. Rebound, Mosbeck, oh, just sweeps it wide of the net. Mosbeck was all alone in front and could not hit the target. 20 seconds to go in regulation. Puck back into the fort zone. Yeah, time for one more rush. Marley Bliss. She takes Reynard off her feet after Reynard came at her strong to knock the puck away. Five seconds left. Muskies will not get another shot. Big collision. And are we going to have, let's see, I think it might be both players. There's a huge collision at the blue line. It is Reynard for the Saints going off. And Marley Bliss, they came together on the right wing boards about 10 seconds earlier. And then a huge collision at the 
blue line on the left side. So both players going off. Coincidental minors, two and a half seconds to go in the third period. So that'll carry over to the overtime. Face off outside the Saints line. Saints get it and send it to the open wing. And that'll do it for the third period. So nothing, nothing through one, nothing, nothing through two. And we are nothing, nothing through three and headed for overtime. All right, so I'm going to quiz you. Reynard sounds like she got cro uh, body or checking penalty, and Marley Bliss getting a cross-checking penalty for the Muskies. So they'll start the period in the box. Now, the, surprisingly, they still have two minutes up for each player, as there was two and a half seconds at, at the end of that period that they served. But uh, they're starting fresh with two minutes. So, oh, oh, and and that's maybe the, the buzzer there to uh, get the referee's attention, saying we've got a small, perhaps, penalty clock issue because they should have ran. Two and a half seconds off of. Well, I'm not exactly sure why they even have them up there because they were coincidental. So why even have them up there? True so. as well. True as well. Um, so anyway. I'm trying to sort that out. So meanwhile, let's give you the lineups for four on four overtime. It's the the Saints, Muse and Hughes up front. They were dangerous all through that third period. Neal and Turner on the back end up front for the Muskies. It's McCoy and Farrington to start. Lucas Engberg. And Tange. And now a two on one possible for the Muskies. Here's a chance. Ferdington walking right in. Ferdington scores! Pack up the kids. Let's go home. Kira Ferdington finishing it quickly. 21 seconds into overtime. And the Fort Francis Muskies get their revenge from two weeks ago in Winnipeg. They turn the tables and pick up a 1-0 win against the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints in the Norwasa regular season opener. Let's take a break here. We'll come back with our Monday morning post game show. Joey will get you started. I'm going to go down and get an interview. Sounds good. You are listening to Monday Girls Hockey on KGHS Thank you. 